All right. Well, here's oh, I got some a great tan, by the way. Let me see. Oh, look at that. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Look, look at you. I'm, I'm, I'm dark now. That's good. That's fucking I finally. I didn't do my face. I didn't do my face, but okay. Yeah. If okay. What is this? Is this gay stuff? I'm uh, probably. Lovely, me and Carson it? might, you know, we might do a clothing line or something. You're right. Is so that perhaps Carey? like this could be the start of it. That of course would be the girls' division of our clothing line. <laughs> well, a guy could wear this. What's wrong with a guy wearing this? Sure, sure, sure. We, we love all types of people. Wow. Yes, yeah, Mariah. Yeah. That's Happy Pride Month, everyone. Yes, Mariah. Dude, we have, I mean, we have iconic moments of homosexual history, <laughs> if you want to see. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Do you like this top? It's so gay. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's totally gay. You know, you really shouldn't say that. Thank you, Hillary Duff. You should instead say at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, and be homophobic that way, because the gays <laughs> are too busy buying Pride merch, so they don't have $5 to right. buy a Hasanabi subscription. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A clip from the pod? Yes, I I uh, already saw this. Oh, I thought I good. showed this as they're well. They're gonna clip me out and and be like, <laughs> they're gonna clip me out. Don't when... say that. They're gonna clip you we, in it. Can you see? You get do more. Do you clicks. see what she's doing? I know it's crazy. She's, this she's is, hamming it up for the camera. This is out of control. She's laying. She's laying. We get, I hope we got some Patreon my, subscribers for that. On my foot. It's so fucking cute. Yeah. Crop in your armpit for that. Bro, you are so lasered on the armpit, dude. I can't believe that shit. You know exactly what. Bro, hold on. Can I say something, by the way? Hold what? on. Hold on. Can what? I say something? Uh, uh, say I need something. to say something. Say something, King. I've seen a lot of Pride Month fan cams of Twitch streamers and YouTube streamers and content creators, and 95% of them are Ludwig, Hassan, and Will. <laughs> Why are you mad, bro? Because nobody in that is gay. What the fuck is going on? Well... Um... You know, I, I was in one of them reacting, sorry. going like this to sorry. one of the fucking pictures. Sorry that we are more queer presenting than you. I, sorry. Need to start, I need to start being more homophobic, I think. No, you just need to fucking fix your straight ass haircut. If you literally buzzed it, grew your beard out, wore a fucking dangly earring. You don't like my haircut? Like, you're you just look too straight. That's what it is, bro. Wait, but wait, but Ludwig looks gayer than me. Yes, bro. Have you seen his hair? What? That man is gay as hell. Fuck. I mean, Dude. Will, I know, is gay as fuck. Like, Will is gay as hell. I understand yeah. Will. Yeah, you, you are way too... It's not even mask at this point. It's just like you literally are too straight presenting. Wait, That's that, it. Wait, and you're not? No. That's Why crazy. do you think 90% of like you the should, Andrew... All right, fine. The, See my outfit today. I'm going to wear parachute pants. Like, Black I think it's boots. really funny. I think it's really funny because, like, the same people, like the Andrew Tate fans, they say, I'm gay, but, like, don't realize how gay Andrew Tate looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Tight ass pants. Yeah, he's just, like, the most flamboyant man. Straight men are just gay men, like, from 10 years ago. Yeah, but, like, that's how but they dress. you are a straight man from 10 no, years I'm ago. No, I'm not. I dress, I dress so much better. You don't give me any credit. He's the straightest one in frame. Yeah. I mean, even though you are looking pretty longingly at us kissing here. No, no, no. That wasn't. That's not my. You guys aren't my type. Oh, that's weird because you're. <laughs> it's odd that th <laughs> this looks very different. Not my type. Both of you. Not my thing. Look at your too face. Much, too much. Too much. Look at your fucking face. Look at your much, eyes. And here. You guys aren't even kissing. Weird. Not my thing. Okay. Well. Um, <laughs> wait. I want to see the most iconic game moments of all time. Let's watch them. Okay. I love this. Say so what? We'll say that something's gay when yeah, you mean it's Hillary bad. Does. It's insulting. Yeah, it is. What if every time something was bad, everybody said, oh, that so girl wearing a skirt as a top. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute jeans, though. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Yeah. Knock it off. Do you like... Thank you. Knock it off. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean that's how that's what that's how it started, and then now gay people use it in a derogatory way. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Evans swapping clothes with Chad in High School Musical Two. Mm -hmm. Pride Month is coming here. A few iconic mm -hmm. LGBTQ moments in pop culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hillary Dove's PSA defending gay rights. Mm -hmm. Mariah Carey explaining what look at but the cube means. Oh, uh, here we go. Yes, Mariah. So we got L, legendary. <laughs> G, Glamour. gorgeous. Yes. B. Bisexual. Beautiful, all of you beautiful people. Mm -hmm. T, 
tantalizing. Oh, fuck yeah, Mariah. And even Q for quality. Mm, so we I fucking love Mariah Carey. She could say anything, and I just love her. The cast of Will and Grace of the Glad Awards. Um, <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger promoting Brokeback Mountain. Oh, fuck yeah. That's cr Wait, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy that they 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 just went out to be, they went out to be gay in public to promote the movie. Hell yeah! Was dude. that part of the PR stuff? Dude, straight people. That's crazy. By the way, I am noticing you that there's a lot of say? straight people speaking on behalf of gays on this iconic pop culture yeah, moment yeah. shit. Diana Ross <laughs> posing with drag queens dressed as her. Love that. RuPaul gagging Jimmy Fallon. Ooh, this was gigantic. This is the first time a drag queen has ever been put on the uh, cover. A of drag queen. A drag queen. I am the queen of drag. Oh, his soul left his body. <laughs> his soul left his body. Mariah Carey performing at a gay club and going to church the next day. Fuck yeah, iconic. That's so funny. I love that. Lady Gaga <laughs> shouting, arrest me, Russia at a concert that. in Moscow after authorities threaten her with this jail time. This is iconic, actually. I said, arrest me. Have you seen this? No. Say. Listen to this. Arrest me, Moscow! Yeah, it was fucking awesome. This is iconic. My name is Lady Gaga. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Manhattan, New York. Why does she do an accent? It's fucking sick. It's iconic. Keep playing it. Uh, but like, You're not I gay. Just, you don't get it. I Keep just don't. I... And I believe that men and women deserve to love each other equally. Yes! It would have been pretty funny if they did arrest her. That would have been pretty awesome. Yeah. Whether you're gay, straight, bi, transgender, yes. transsexual, whether you're Catholic, Muslim, whether you are Buddhist, your God is here. Oh, I forgot to run the three minute break. I'm running it now. You are white, you are Russian, whatever you may be. Are you brave enough not to give a fuck what people say? Hell yeah. Uh, what else? For now, that's it, but I made threads about things I'm that's passionate the only, about. Come on, we what? These are not the iconic. Fuck? This that's doesn't all even you got? This doesn't even clear. What the, the fuck? Th this doesn't even clear the Stone fucking wall didn't even make the fucking cut. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is like <laughs> the fuck? We got an entire human civilization of homosexuality. Is Hillary Duff saying don't do that? Iconic Pride Month gay video that we watch. Oh, fuck yeah. What is this about? Love is all you need. You've never seen this before? No. Heterosexuality is a sin. This is like reverse world, bizarro oh, world. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, you've never seen no. this? No. Bro, that's crazy. Mm -mm. I'm that a, is crazy. I'm new to this whole gay thing. What the f Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> you fucking Sorry, freak. Sir. <laughs> this is like gay theory. I'm teaching you gay theory right now. I'm giving you a gay education. <laughs> is, is Austin even gay? <laughs> I need to go buy an outfit. I'm gonna buy just a white, like a simple. Some people say that they are born the way they are destined to be. Karen, it is a beautiful, healthy baby girl. Oh. Oh. Education was right there. Oh, it's true. That it's a result of how you were raised. That's it, good girl. You're so good. Oh. Mommy too. The problem with that theory is that I had the best, most normal parents anyone could have asked for. She let me sleep today. She let me sleep for two hours. Wait, I love this. That's true. Growing up, I was a happy kid. Happy birthday, Ashley. Thank you. We were really the picture perfect all American family. 
I was five when I knew I wasn't like my family. Uh-oh. But it was uh. at my uncle's wedding that I had uh -oh. a sinking feeling that I wouldn't grow up to be like them. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder that if I had just ignored how that flower boy made me feel, I could have turned out just like them. Disgusting. No. That's crazy. That's a breeder, baby. That's a, That's a hetero. <laughs> this is exactly, you know what's crazy? This uh, is how America is in 2024, no, actually. Though. I know. Like, this is how, this is what it feels like to be a straight man yeah. in America right now. You uh -huh. wouldn't know. You're no. you're one of the blessed ones. No, okay. I have, we have actually, like, so much advantage so many advantages to being a homosexual it's crazy it's like i this is current day this is a documentary about what it's like just a reminder there's tos at the end suicide scene i that's fine i think it's like not real suicide <laughs> of course not <laughs> what do you want to play now i don't know want to play house how about Ashley and I be the mommies and you boys be our kids and have to Oh, do yeah, I saw that. No fair. Stupid shit. Well, that's what mommies do. Hey, how about we be the daddies and you do whatever we say? Yeah. No way. I got an idea. I don't get it. It's just people how wearing Speedos. Like, what's the problem? And why can't you just be These normal? guys are the... These F words are the reason why people are homophobic. Like, y'all can't just be gay and act normal. Like, what, they're not even doing anything. They're just, just like, fucking existing. abnormal. And being in Speedos. Like, they're in London, man. D have you seen London? Like, yeah. what the fuck? They're just yeah. in Speedos. Who gives a fuck? Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. The OP is L uh, LGBTQ+. Plus. This self-hatred is ridiculous. We don't need to capitulate to anybody for us to be accepted. Like, this isn't even kink discourse at this point. Like, I know that, like, kink at pride is, like, a major point that everybody loves talking about every fucking uh, month of June. But this is literally just like, it's it's just a bunch of London homos wearing yeah, fucking let them speedos. them fucking be. They've all starved themselves and been on a liquid diet for the last 24 days to prepare for their yeah. fucking pride moment. Let them have their time in you their know, speedos. You know okay? this person is an American <laughs> homosexual, okay? Yes. You want to know why? Because Americans across the board, gay, straight, are just so fucking weird about people showing like more than their calves, okay? Yes. It's just like a classic, classic American uh, brain rot moment right here to be like, nope, not allowed. Not mm -hmm. allowed, dude. Not, no shot. Mm -hmm. This is literally the average beach in Europe, except way skinnier, <clears throat> okay? <laughs> like, have you been to a beach in Europe? <coughs> Mm -hmm. Have you been to a fucking beach in Europe? Go to any, go to any place that Londonistan mm -hmm. takes over during the fucking months of summer, and you will see every goddamn retired British uh, gammon mm -hmm. and also young Brits dressed exactly like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I bet you could find a, a British royal dressed like this. It's just like in this a fucking is literally. Speedo. Yeah, they're wearing speedos, man. It's just like it, that's it's it. English. It's Brit this is British culture. <laughs> Dude, you go to any uh, Mediterranean beaches, Speedo City. Yeah, exactly. We. I, I was in Australia. I was in Australia. Everybody had budgie smugglers on. Every single person. Yeah. The problem isn't the Speedos, it's the shower and socks. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Young gays are obsessed with not being the bad gays, i.e. not being ashamed. It just doesn't... Like, there's nothing wrong with this. Like, obviously, it, there is the, the yeah. kink it... Also... There's the kink it pride discourse, can, which is very different than can, what this is. Can okay? we bring up... Can we bring up... Fucking naked bike rides all around the fucking country? Yeah, like, that's... That's Nobody's not saying even, shit about anything. Like, no, they're saying it. They're literally they're saying, going. Are they saying it's gay? Yes, bro. That's the oh funniest part. They oh my always, god. They, wait, are they, all these fucking what, places. What is being naked a gay thing? What all the these fuck fucking that? places, like <laughs> the you know, Seattle, Portland, yeah. all these fucking places have like old ass men and women 
dropping trow and doing gay bike rides okay <laughs> and it has nothing to do with like homosexuality whatsoever but people will literally always point to that and go see they're doing it again they're doing pride and it's like no man they're just weird mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i'm sorry it's weird i don't i don't like the the, the you know it's fine. The budgie smugglers and the speedos, perfectly valid, permissible, whatever. Okay. Especially if you're European, it's your culture. Go off. But like when you <laughs> when you take it one step further, it has nothing to do with being gay. It's just like people being nudists, okay? I mean, I'm I'm I'll be honest. I'm I'm gonna say something brave. I don't give a fuck about the naked bike ride. Be naked if you want to. I'm don't you don't gotta look at the naked bike ride, son. I I, it, I understand. You're you know, right. You know it's what I mean? Just, like it's just Damn, that, did like, I just own you. I can't believe that. I, I, no, no, no. Is, I, really I agree with you. Month. I just still think it's weird. It really I agree is with you. I agree with you. Yeah, fuck we, yeah. You literally, you and I had the this conversation. It's winning. funny because you're saying this right now in the yeah. month of June. Uh huh. When we literally had this exact same conversation last time you were on the stream, like two weeks ago. And I said, where you weird. and I were in in alignment about how weird it is it's pride month. and we literally <laughs> went on a fucking tangent about like old people uh, in the locker room i clipped that and put it on my tiktok yeah uh, <laughs> posting their fucking ball sack right up in your face I've for no TikTok goddamn clip. reason uh, that's clip. yeah well you know what it's it's pride month so it's time to dunk yeah anyway it always mm -hmm. grosses me out when there's like lime bikes in the solstice parade i don't know what it is i think it's weird because you're like getting butt naked sweating on a bike seat sounds unbearable yeah that's what i it's just weird uh, nudism is great. Naked bike ride is tame. No, I'm not. I'm not with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, people do it in their own fucking, if you do it in your own, uh, do it in your own space. home. No, no. And it's not even that like a, like a nudist colony, nude beach, whatever. If you uh -huh. want to fucking close off the streets and do a naked bike ride, go mm -hmm. off. It's mm -hmm. still going to be weird to me. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's, you're not going to convince me that it's like a normal, freeing, liberating thing to do. I don't like it. I think it's gross. You're gross. You, s unbelievable. It's never the people I want to see nude, bro. I understand. I'm sorry. I understand. And I get this, it. It's not the point of, of nudism. Nudism is like all about fucking not. Yeah. You know, it's not about sexual. Yeah. It's not about like looking hot. Bodies are beautiful, especially female bodies. I just. <laughs> And women don't owe you shit for the record. Okay. For me, for me, okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's <laughs> is rarely ever the entire city of Portland just canceled you for the steak. Yeah, good luck. I'm not getting I'm not going there then. Okay. Yeah, it's never who I would want to see I doing know, a no, nudist no. bike I, I, ride. I, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm agree with him. Usually the people you see naked are never the ones you want to see. Yeah, okay, it's just I'm like, bro, okay. oh God, it's like I'm your red you. flags are showing. Okay, well, you know, Show it's me a your armpit. It's a red flag. Show me yeah, your armpit. Fuck just, it. I, you yeah, know. Just, there you go. It's like the men in black thing. You just This is your most conservative everything. take. I'm one hundred percent. I'm one hundred percent conservative on this. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but you've always been a free to titty advocate. No, no. He that's wants not... only the hot titties to be free. No, 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 no. I don't even care. No, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about titties. I'm kidding. I'm just riling you no, up. No, I don't I'm give a shit about titties. Up. I'm talking about fucking dicks. Would you make and... one of those chat live? Fuck. I, I, I am talking specifically about down here. Okay? I got you. I got you. There's oh, a, I, get it. I get it. Like, this is the area uh -huh. where we just you know take stuff out yeah. of our body. This mm -hmm. is like you're evacuating your bowels and shit. Like, yeah. I don't want to see any of that. I mean, yeah. Same with same with vaginas. Evacuating your bowels. Like it's just mm. nudism is okay only as long as you're hot. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm being honest. Okay, mm -hmm. being radically honest. Mm -hmm. Um, in any case, yeah, it's just like I said, it's it's um, you know, when you when you go beyond uh, uh freeing the titty, I'm like, okay, well, you know, maybe maybe I'm not ready for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But David and I play mommy and daddy. Are you watching this whole thing? Yes, bro. Do you not? Uh, do you need to leave soon? I have to go. I have to go get an uh, outfit. I'm gonna talk about Israel Palestine okay, the moment about, that your talk, ass talk, leaves. Talk about Israel Palestine and then. No, but you, you have to sit here and watch this. Wait, bro. We this have is to... for you. This is education. No, I know it's education, no, bro. Like... You are literally homophobic if no, you walk no, no, away no. from this pivotal, uh, no, formative. I, I already know what happens. I don't want to. Like you don't know what happens. Yes, I well, do. Well, we you, spoiled you, it. You just spo you spoiled the end end of it. That's crazy. I have to go shopping. I'm, I have to look good at Pride. 
It's 20 minutes. You have to Bro, sit here. It's you 20 have to Hassan sit, minutes. You have to sit I'm going to be here for the next four hours and 20 minutes. You have to sit your gay ass down and listen, okay? Oh, fuck. I have to pee. You need to, you need to learn about this shit. Okay. <laughs> That's really disgusting. What, are you some kind of breeder? No, I'm not. <laughs> R2. Am not. R2. Am not. R2. Come on, David. We don't play with breeders. I'm telling everyone that you're a disgusting breeder. I tried really hard just to be normal after that. Romeo and Julio. <laughs> hey guys, you did such a great job in the suicide scene today. It made me cry. Thanks, I thought it went pretty well too. I wish Julia's part was for a girl. Ashley likes boys. Ashley likes boys. Ashley likes boys. Ashley likes boys. Wait, that shit kind of happens, I think, anyway. Bro, I'm telling you right now, this is just the real world in 2024. This is, like, triggering for me to watch as a straight man. Yeah, I know. Is this how it is? This what happened to you? Yeah. Kiss me. Ian, coming. Uh. Ashley. Did you tell your mom that you got cast in the school play? I like the guy who's like, <laughs> if it's bad to be straight, then how do all these kids exist? <laughs> fucking own them. Own Dude. those fraudulent charlatans, so chatter. So fucking hmm? based. School play. I thought we decided you were trying out for the football team. <laughs> it didn't make the team. Uh. What? After all the coaching I paid for? Hmm. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm just not coordinated. But you're coordinated enough to act? Isn't that for boys? No, it's for girls, too. We're doing Romeo and Julia. I'm playing the nurse. <laughs> Romeo and Julia? Isn't it, honey? What? Did you know that Shakespeare wrote it for his true love, Duchess of Southampton? Duchess? Shakespeare was a heterosexual? Yeah. Well... He loved her so much, but he couldn't divorce his By the way, this is how my household so, will be in the future. So, Romeo and Julia to express his love. I'm, I'm not triggered. triggered. I'm triggered. Oh, Mr. Thompson. Who's he? The drama teacher. I need to make a call to that school. Classic. Mm -hmm. The drama teacher is, is mm -hmm. doing cisset propaganda. <laughs> it's fucked up. And did you see who moved in down the street? No. A hetero couple. Ugh. Oh, gross. How do you know? I saw them getting out of their car. Get that shit out of here, bro. Keep that shit in your fucking bedrooms. You so know true. what I mean? It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And they have a pink and blue flag on their bumper. Mm. <laughs> well, that is really blatant. Pink and Actually, blue flag. Actually, I going around the other way to school. But that's twice as long. I don't care. I'm not going to have you exposed to that perverted lifestyle, men and women living together. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, tell it, girl. Sick just thinking about it. It does, me so too. Revolting. Honey, can I get some more bread? My household, when I grew up. In light of recent events in the Netherlands, where heterosexual marriage is now allowed, mm. Pope Joan VII wants to remind Catholics all over the world that the church has not changed its stance on this issue. <laughs> her uh, reminds hell yeah! And I quote, It is a sin uh, her for holiness. a man to lust after a woman. It is an abomination for a woman to lie with a man outside of the breeding season. Any such person harboring lust in their heart for the opposite Dude, sex. Dude, this, by the way, is, is so perfectly wrapped up in its lore uh -huh. that it creates like a perfect logical confine where they have like a breeding season like they wrote everything yeah they wrote everything dude yeah only like breeding is only permissible in breeding season uh-huh and you're not supposed to enjoy it mm -hmm. like the world building is so intact okay it's perfect it's very well done I, you have to respect it i do will burn in hell let us pray Your... 
a row. What What's the row? Doing in the boys That's so Fun. funny oh. that the drama teacher is supposed to be the straight guy, but he's like <laughs> <laughs> definitely gay as hell <laughs> in real life. Come on, Paula, get going. Ashley, over here. You know, Ashley, this school has a zero tolerance policy for this kind of behavior. Imagine if your mothers had seen you holding hands with a boy in public. Never mind, he's gay. This is not the drama teacher. Parents, oh, yeah. but I'll let this be punishment enough. Thank you, sir. She's like, this is just a phase that you're going through. You'll grow out of it. Like the hate crime that you just listed should be punishment enough for you, for your. You know, Ashley, maybe if you got yourself a girlfriend, all this teasing would stop. Now, finish cleaning up and get back to class. I really did hope that it was just a phase like Mr. Thompson had said. But then I remembered how strong Ian's hand felt and what the thought of kissing him did to me. And I knew that it wasn't a phase. And I hated myself for it. Romeo is better. All to the world for nothing. That he dares near come back to challenge you. Or if he do, it must be by stealth. I think it best you marry with the county. Oh, he's a lovely gentleman. Matt Walsh is bigoted even in this universe. <laughs> 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 yes. Was this made to be pro-gay or anti-gay? I legitimately can't tell. No, this is literally about like, this is from a different era, okay? Where people were definitely way more outwardly homophobic. Mm. And so this is meant to like educate children in schools about why it's really fucked up to like shit on gay people and be homophobic mm -hmm. by by basically just doing a role reversal. What if the world was just super gay mm. and like, uh, you know, being heterosexual caused you to get bullied endlessly mm -hmm. It's from 2016. I thought this was from way before 2016. Goddamn, ah, videos from 2016 look like no, that? No, he's wrong. Th that chatter was so wrong. This was uploaded in People 2013. People saying shit. But okay. even then, it's before 2013 is when it first came out. I'm pretty sure there's, like, literally chatters in here that saw this as school that are, like, in their 30s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, people saw that. People are talking about they saw this in 2008. <laughs> okay, I guess it was in 2011. That chatter was just straight lying. I wasn't even out at that point. Yeah, if you had seen this. You would have been like, wow, what a beautiful future this could have been. <laughs> you would have seen this and been like, damn, son. I was such a late bloomer. I don't even know if I was just very sexually I can't confused. Do this anymore. What? But I thought you liked me. I do. I did. Look, my brother found out. He, he threatened to tell my parents they'd kill me if they found out. No, they wouldn't. They love you. You don't know my dad's. My aunt Sarah came out and. I the entire family cut her off. We're not new They killed him. Papa says God hates breeders, and they're all gonna <laughs> burn in hell. <laughs> it's so, it's so like it's so crazy, but it, it, but it's it, so true. Like it, I know, but this it's is just a universe like, that actually yeah. exists. It's funny because it's just like you can't help but laugh. I know that what they're trying to do. I like I get the. I get what they were trying to do here, but mm. it's just like so fucking funny. Ultimately, the way that they did this. Okay, keep watching. I gotta go grab something real. Quick. Can I kiss you just one last time? You better not. No God's watching. Kiss boy fucking hit. Fucking row. Got you. Oh! Uh, get her uh -huh. ass. What are you doing? Get away from me. Ian. Oh shit! I don't know why she keeps touching me like this. I was just trying to be nice to her. I hate you, Ashley Curtis. Stay away from me. That's the problem. You can't be nice to heteros. That's right. But right. you can always teach them a lesson. 
Grab her. <laughs> what the fuck? This is crazy. What the fuck? Grab her, get that row. <laughs> I thought this was like a Daily Wire video that was meant to be serious. Like if the gays have their way, this is where they're going if Joe Biden gets elected. I mean, that's why it's so beautiful because like, Wait, wait, do, do you think conservatives are showing this or watching this thinking that this yeah. is the future of America? Like, I can totally, I can uh, totally, totally see gonna, with the, with the level happen. of mania that they oh, exhibit God. on a regular basis. I can totally fucking see them looking at this as like, this is a warning sign, brother. You can run your little rope, but you won't get away. Come on. What does row mean? Here. Are they gonna stand up to it? So this is the little queer bait that tried to hold my brother's hand. <laughs> no, he didn't. We forced him. We saw her kiss him just now, didn't we? Yeah. You friggin' breeder. Grab her! Oh my Jesus Christ! Smear the queer! Smear the queer! Smear the quick! 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 Do us all a favor, right? Smear the Isn't that an actual. What is that? Yes, it's. Smear the what? Ashley didn't come home. She left school. Why didn't she pick her up? Isn't that. She hasn't been home since school. And. Right? Well, that was 245. That was 2.45, and it's Ashley. over six here. Okay. What the hell happened to I'll you? Tell, I'll call you later. <gasps> oh, my God. My Why are they saying queer? Oh, I'm so Ashley. confused. Baby, sweetie, what who happened? did this to you? They, they snuck that in there. I don't know. Ashley, who did this to you? Nobody. Well, you didn't do it to yourself now, did you? That's enough. Honey, please. Who did this to you? I want to know right now. This is getting sad now. Maybe straight people are oppressed. <laughs> Kidding, I'm joking. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, upstairs. Wait, this is working on me, Hassan. I'm starting to think right, straight people are oppressed. Get yourself cleaned up. I'm starting to get sad. Good. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? So Hassan sent me to like tomorrow. conversion therapy. Oh, this is it, bro. This I want to fucking therapy. pay for your crimes, dude. I don't know. This Do you is think normal. I don't even know what's going on with her. I saw this shit in school. I'm 28 from Canada. And I swear to God, it stopped me from coming out till later in life. It's sad as shit. Jesus. Yeah, I feel like it. I feel like. Damn, they got him assly. I feel like when you watch something like this, it like. You see like how traumatizing it is. And you tie that to your own situation. And after you're done watching this, you're like, wait, the world is the opposite. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is literally the opposite of what the world is. This is absolutely terrifying. I don't know if I ever want to come out. Jesus Christ. This is literally what it, it feels like to be a straight man in 2024, okay? Inadvertently, though, they were showing it to a bunch of queer people. Like you know, petrified here, as to like that this is the reality that they that is going to happen to them if they came out in the real world, <laughs> right? It's crazy. There's, a self, there's self harm. Yes, trigger warning. Self harm. Okay, trigger warning. This is what Brandon's America is all about, okay? Hmm. Wait, this gets really fucking dark. My 
Wait, is this getting nervous? <laughs> it's getting fucking yeah, oh yeah, no, it gets real dark. God damn. Do we have to finish it? Jesus Christ. You have to watch what you did. No. You have to watch the consequences of your actions. No, you did this. I don't want to finish this. You don't want to finish this Let's part? go to Pride. Let's go to straight Pride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, well, you all know what happens. She uh, she offs herself. She sells deletes. Okay? Because of people like Austin <laughs> constantly promoting their gay-ass propaganda. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that is precise. Stop ducking nice it, wig. You know, Wait, it, what? It fucking <laughs> kills me, man, that, like, so many conservatives are out there being, like, like, gay. They're so, you know... They make being gay their own, per all their personality. And then they're out there fucking gargling, sucking every fucking inch of Trump's cock and balls. Just fucking uh, with their Trump hat and their fucking Trump cape and their fucking Trump flag and dedicating their entire life to this fucking man. I want to go to a Trump rally undercover and ask if they would suck his cock, if it meant... Releasing him from prison, would you suck his dick and eat his ass to get him released from prison? What would you do? Like, I, I literally believe a lot of them would say yes. Oh, my, I should do that, dude. What? Go to a Trump rally and be like, you have to suck Trump's no, dick be to like, get him out of prison? I'll, I'll get him in with a few questions, like, you know, simple questions like, what do you think about this verdict? And i would be like, look... Would you suck his dick to get him to free him from all of his charges? What is this? Is this an anti gay ad? Do you remember this crazy anti gay ad? Let's see this. Where's your mommy? Oh no. Marriage about what adults demand, or what children need. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait, wait, go back, go back to that frame. Wait, no, go back to the frame where they were, uh, where they walked up. He got the ankle socks. Bro, that could be no too. gay <laughs> men are wearing whatever the fuck these laceless <laughs> loafer sneakers are. It could be. It's it's more likely to be two lesbians than two gay men. What the fuck? What the fuck well, is happening? <laughs> Bro, ain't no fucking way, dog. Ain't no fucking way. Those they got the cargos on. They could, of course, it's a homophobic institution, so they couldn't find like actual gay men. If a if a gay person <laughs> if a gay person was in 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 charge of directing any part of this commercial, they would have been like, "Ain't no fucking way people are wearing this shit, dog." He's got two his two moms. There's no <laughs> two, two, what is this? Two, yeah, two straight. Yeah, dads. this kid's cook because he has two straight dads. <laughs> okay. Oh, what God. is happening, bro? He's got the knee-length cargo shorts that are busted as hell. You know, you know they're two straight guys. He's got the plaid shorts also knee-length. Mm -hmm. Unimaginable. I'm just imagining two actors didn't want to show their faces so people don't think they're gay. It's an ankle shot. Yeah. Is marriage about what adults do? Both of his dads are gay. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like that. I like that the kid is like very clearly, even in this ad, surrounded by loving parents. Yeah. But it's somehow a bad thing. Yeah. Like they're there, they're at the park, they <laughs> yeah. came over to like check on uh -huh. check on the child. Like, <clears throat> like what is that even like mm. what part the only thing that is bad about this commercial is that like you have to you have to just like really uh hyper focus on the vibes in general. Because, like... Yeah, he's got two parents that are there. They're not even being like, yeah, gay parents suck because they're too busy having gay sex instead of taking mm -hmm. care of their child or anything like that. Or what children need. Wait, are there any more homophobic ads? Yeah, this is awesome. I want to see more of this <laughs> shit. Uh, they, only, they only made one banger and quit. <laughs> uh... Hassan, I want to know where the hell you were at when Bill Clinton paid $800,000 in hush money to Paula Jones. 
You're all against Trump, but you never said a word about Bill Clinton. You're definitely a Democrat instead of independent. Bro, you stupid fuck. You know where I was at? Ankara. As like an eight-year-old. Okay? You are yelling at a child. Okay? You think I don't give a fuck? Send his ass to jail too, dumbass. Yo. What are you talking about, bro? Yo, hold up, bro. Bro. Trump... Trump got convicted. Wait, eight, oh, in 1991? Okay, I was just born, dumbass. I wasn't even... I was just born. It's not even the Monica Lewinsky on, shit. But, 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 Paula Jones. But wasn't... Trump wasn't convicted of giving... Of paying... Uh, 800,000 or uh, excuse me the it wasn't the 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 hush money that was the problem it was how it was uh accounted yeah, for exactly wow yeah no Look that's what i'm saying you you are fuck. so fucking Somebody lived went up. to jail some michael cohen literally did jail time for the crime that trump told him to fucking do you fucking dumb shit somebody already went to jail for it Dude, hit it again that's dude. what i'm saying You're you fucking, fucking moron you fucking so goddamn lived up i'm fired up for you you got his cock so deep in your fucking throat that is blinding you from the fucking truth. That's awesome. <laughs> this guy unironically thought this is a gotcha, though. Like, I love that. I, I, Dude, are you 50 years old? Like, what do you think I was doing in 1991? I was being born, okay? I was a fucking... <laughs> I was a fucking baby. Dumbass. And also, I hate... Bill Clinton, and I hate Hillary Clinton even more. Wait, I was laughing. I'm just saying both parties suck. Neither one is better than the other. Oh, wow. So brave. So fucking brave. Okay, but bro. you didn't come in here with that energy. You so came. Brave. So brave, man. Hassan Piker, notorious lover of the Democrats. Notorious lover of the Democrats. Like, bro, read he the title. He loves the Democrats so fucking much. It's insane. He loves Joe Biden. Okay. What a fucking take. He, he does legitimately believe that. That's though, what I'm saying. You're fucking stupid. Open your fucking ears up, you fucking dumb shit. I'm sick and tired of these dumbasses, man. Yeah. You're stupid. Here, here is me, Look, bro. Watch his shit. Here's me. Here's me uh, complaining. I like Joe Biden. He doesn't. He, here's me <laughs> complaining about Bill Clinton, dude. <laughs> I was popping off, dude. I was like, yo, <laughs> fuck that guy. That's what I'm saying. I vo I'm the one that phone banked for Joe Biden in Texas, okay? It's me, motherfucker. It's me. I'm the one, not him. What is this? This anti-gay I was so dramatic gathering. for no reason. The clouds are dark and the winds are strong. And I am afraid. Some who advocate for same-sex marriage have taken the issue far beyond same-sex couples. They want to bring the issue into my life. My freedom will be taken away. How? <laughs> Like, oh my God, how, uh, bro, how? Uh. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> if <laughs> if gay sex is permissible, then they're gonna gay, they're gonna have a gay marriage also, with me. <laughs> every straight person I talk to about marriage talks about how much it fucking sucks. Have you ever talked to a straight guy when, without his wife there, talking about how fucking oh the old ball and chains coming home or. Well, you know, can't do that anymore because I've been married for whatever, how many years. That's the freedom that you're afraid is getting taken away from you? Yeah. Come on, I'm man. I'm a California doctor who must choose between my faith and my job. I'm part of a New Jersey church group punished by the government because we can't support same-sex marriage. I'm a Massachusetts parent helplessly watching public schools teach my son that gay marriage is okay. But some who advocate <laughs> for same-sex marriage have not been content with same-sex couples living as they wish. Those advocates want to change the way I... Dude, this is... Nobody I love looking at this shit with, like, the benefit of, of hindsight because I promise you... Everything you feel about trans people, everything you feel about abortion, like conservatives have this level of delusion when it comes to that right now in the exact same way. And there is a active effort to launder this mania to as broad a public as possible. Watch out. Make sure you don't show it on camera. Um, that's it. Immigrants, Muslims, uh, trans people. It is always like this. They just like whip them up in a fucking frenzy. By making idiotic ads like this and constantly reinforcing this fucking fear over and over again through Fox News and all of the fucking propaganda outlets. 
And then you look at it a couple, you know, you look at it like 20 years later almost, right? Or a, a decade later, and you're like, what the fuck were they on, bro? Guess what? They're still on that shit. They just changed targets. Okay? It is never about infringing on your rights or your liberties. It is about conservatives that want to enforce rigid rules on how people should and should not behave. And it's always ridiculous. It is always them advocating to take away other people's civil liberties. Okay? It's other people's civil liberties that they want to take, and they always reframe it from this, like, hyper-individualistic framework that, like, somehow gay people being able to get married is going to infringe on their own personal liberties. It's bullshit. It's always been bullshit. It's always been ridiculous. Don't fucking fall for this dumb nonsense. I live. I will have no choice. The storm is coming. But we have hope. A rainbow coalition of people of every creed and color are coming together in love to protect marriage. Wow. Visit nation. They're like, we're not racist anymore. <laughs> for marriage.org. Join us. Paid Come join us. We're not racist anymore. National organization for marriage. We're just homophobic. <laughs> what is this? No, this is funny or die. Hi there. You're looking at Tennessee, home of the... No, this is Hi funny there. or die, bro. I don't want to fucking see funny or die shit. I want to see, like, the real gay, uh, anti-gay ads. Bro, look at this. Look at this. What's on? Look. What? She's been asleep on my foot. Oh, she's no longer homophobic. She's been asleep on my foot. For... She, she, Kaya's got, is sleeping on my foot right now. Uh, yeah, Boys Beware, Prejudice, 1960s educational video, which also, of course, classic, uh, ties homosexuality pedophilia. back to pedophilia yeah. and says that all gay men are, are predatory pedophiles, blah, 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 blah. Classic. Anti-gay ad with the added bonus of fake Obama voters. Hey, honey. How are you? Fine, I guess. What's going on? Well... Obama is trying to force gay marriage on this country. That's not the change I voted for. Marriage is between a man and a woman. That's not the change I voted for either. What can we do? We can vote for someone with values. Campaign for American Values yeah! is responsible for the content of this advertising. Yeah! Oh my god, is that a real ad? Yeah, paid for by the American Values Pack, baby. Oh my god. It's just like, oh my God, it's Romney just, Remember, Ryan. remember all of the civil liberties that you now take for granted, mm -hmm. uh, people had to fight for, and the Republicans were trying to fucking desperately fight against, mm -hmm. and, and failed inevitably, which is why now you look back at it and you laugh. <laughs> but the lesson you should learn, the lesson you should learn from all of this is that um, the current things, the current things that they're yelling about are also fucking ridiculous, okay? Mm -hmm. They're also ridiculous. And we're going to look back on them years down the line. Hopefully. But for real, this one? Hi, honey. What's wrong? I'm trying to make gay marriage legal. This is not real. <laughs> it's a fake ad, bro. Come on. Don't send me fake shit. <laughs> Yeah, that one's a parody. But what is this? Even if you kid sleeps with a lady boy on accident, you won't believe it. What the fuck? Stood at the gates of heaven, begging he would still send you to hell. You transgender, he, she, LGBT, fatty, wannabe man, queer. <laughs> Even if you stood at the gates of heaven. That was awesome. Hello. That's real, by the way. That's real. This is one of those Darman channels. This really happened, bro. Darman is never actually... Darman and Darman style channels have never actually lied. Yeah, trans women do have the power to kill priests with their thoughts. Yeah. Why is it that they only go for gay men but leave us lesbians alone? That they're obsessed with gay men? Um, patriarchy, I think. Rick Perry, anti-gay ad. I'm not a sh Rick Perry is also, funnily enough, in my opinion, a closeted homosexual man. Shame to admit that I'm a Christian. 
But you don't need to be in the pew every Sunday to know that there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military, but our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. It's yeah, they also fetishize lesbians, too. They think it's, like, fine. Mr. President, I'll end Obama's war on religion, and I'll fight against liberal attacks on our religious heritage. Rick Perry's a gay man. Um, what is this? I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm gay every gay. <laughs> um, it's, uh, as you guys know, Rick Perry once famously said, uh, being again, it's quite like being a homosexual. Okay. You know, or as being a gay man, it's quite like being an alcoholic. Sorry. You know, you, you, you see bottles of alcohol lying around, you know, you can't have it. Same feelings that I have towards Dick. Okay. Walking around. Walking around seeing dicks out of pants all day, every day. I want to suck them. I, Rick Perry, I'm a gay man. I want to suck them, and I say, no, I don't need to suck. Not today, Satan. Not Coming today. Up. 